Hi, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we will be discussing about a very important subject which I'm sure not many would have heard about. That's a trigger point. Trigger point shows up like party crashes. Whatever's wrong, you can count on them to make it worse. And in many cases, they actually begin to overshadow the original problem itself. Trigger points or muscle knots are sore spots in soft tissue structures that can cause deep aching pains, which can be described as painful areas in the muscle. These microscopic changes occur in muscle fibers, causing them to contract and shorten. They generally produce pain locally or in a referred pattern, which is often accompanied by chronic musculoskeletal disorder. Patients may have persistent pain, resulting in a decreased of painful movements in the affected muscles. These can include muscles used to maintain body posture, such as those in the neck, shoulders, back and your pelvis. Although the pain is usually related to the muscle activity, it may be constant. It is reproducible Patients report few systemic symptoms and associated signs such as joint swelling and other neurological deficits which are generally absent on physical examination. Trigger points may also manifest as tension headache or cervicogenic headaches, temporomandibular joint pain, decreased range of motions in the leg and low back pain, palpitation of a hypersensitive bundle or muscle fiber of harder than normal consistency is the physical finding typically associated with the trigger point. Palpitation of the trigger point can cause pain directly on the affected area and can cause radiation of pain towards a referral zone and a local twitch response. A direct compression of the trigger point can cause something called as a jump sign or it can give you a local tenderness, local twitch response and referred pain which usually responds with a pain pattern distant from the spot. Jump sign is basically a characteristic behavior in response to the pressure on the trigger point. Individuals are frequently amazed by the intense pain. They twitch they wince or cry out with a response, seemingly out of proportion to the amount of pressure exerted by the examiner's finger. They move involuntarily, jerking the shoulder, head or some other part of the body which is not being palpated. A jump sign thus reflects the extreme or the severe tenderness of a trigger point. Trigger points may not be painful other than the direct pressure to it. Only when pressure is applied directly over the point. They refer pain elsewhere to adjacent or remote areas. The origin of the pain and the area where it manifests can be different. For example, a low back pain can be related to the trigger point in the abdominal muscles while headaches can be related to a trigger point in the neck muscles. The referred pain is a characteristic feature of trigger point. It forms the basis of its name trigger point. Since it relates to one area triggering pain elsewhere. A patient will generally ask for help when he has a long-term pain due to headaches, low back aches, morning stiffness, painful movements or movements that can sometimes increase the symptoms. There are certain criteria which will help us understand whether you have a trigger point or not. Some of these criteria include a taut band of the muscle fibers, 
a pressure sensitive area within that muscle fiber referred pain from a triggered point a local twitch response of the trigger point or taut band in response to a mechanical stimulation of the trigger point there are several ways of how we can treat a trigger point manual trigger point therapy includes a specific manipulation of the muscles and connective tissues this helps to promote healing and reduce pain passively stretching the affected muscle or using the foam roller over the affected muscles few times a day will help you in releasing the trigger point and enhance healing strengthening the affected muscle while initially beginning with the isometric contraction and using hot and cold pack to relax the muscle at the end of the about treatment if you find the information in the video helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe and click on the bell icon for future notifications